They mostly come at night. Mostly. Today we're going to take a look at Aliens The Original Years Omnibus Volume 1 by Mark Verheiden. It has a 1,024 page count and the cover price of $125. Let's get into this Omnibus review. Do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Today we're looking at Aliens, The Original Years, Omnibus Volume 1. Great looking spine there and the cover art on this DM variant from Mark Nelson. You get the uh, covers here on the back, which is great. And now let's slip the dust jacket off and take a look at the inside of the dust jacket. So on the left-hand side, it has like a, a little bit about the original Aliens movie from 1979. Obviously the, the classic Ridley Scott film, man. So it has a brief bit about that and then what leads into what is collected in this book. And on the right hand side, a list of the creators, obviously. Now this book has a beautiful wraparound cover. This is from the Earth Wars trade paperback and you get artwork here from uh, John Bolton. Love that uh, wraparound cover, man. Now let's just open it up to uh, check out the binding real quick. It's sewn binding. There's a little bit of an eye here. You get a little bit of gutter loss in this book here, but it's really not too bad, man. Considering it is a large book with over 1,000 pages, you know, you're gonna expect a little bit of gutter loss. So you get the title page there with the great alien queen, and then you get a list of everything that's collected in this book and all the people that worked on these issues. So you're going to get several different writers on this book. Mike Verheiden, Mike Richardson, Stephen Grant, Dan Jolly, just to name a few. And then with uh, artists, you're going to get Mark Nelson, Sam Keith, Simon Bisley, Dennis Bouvais, Jim Somerville, Mark McKenna, Tony Harris, Joe Phillips, John Dell. So there's a bunch of people that worked on this book. Now the book starts out and you get this theory of alien propagations, which is kind of explaining like what these aliens are. Uh, much of what we presume to know about the alien life form is conjecture. However, amidst the theory, there are the absolute facts. They are not like us and we will truly never understand them. It explains how the incubation periods in a host can be like several days or only a matter of hours. And really that these creatures main purpose is that they live to kill and they live to breed. So after that little intro there, you're going to get Aliens 1988, 1 through 6. And it uh, starts out with like, like Newt. She was uh, the girl that was rescued in uh, the Aliens movie with Ripley. Uh, they do actually like, they changed the names apparently in these books originally, but Marvel actually changed them back. So in this book, they will be Hicks and Ripley and, and Newt, which is uh, pretty cool. So it's like going with like what it really should be. Uh, Hicks is a really badass character too, man, because he got into like a battle with the alien xenomorphs and he ended up getting like acid on his face. So that one side of his face is all burnt off from the acid, which is pretty sick. Now, this, uh, this story is really good, man. A lot of the stories in here, there's a couple that I'm not really a fan of. I wasn't uh, crazy about tribes, which I'll show later on. But um, other than that, man, I thought like this was really good. Like everything was a hit out of the park on this. The writing was all really good, and I thought that the artwork really matched the subject matter quite well. Now, throughout this story here, like, Hicks goes on a mission to retrieve some alien specimens. There's, like, a, a lot of, like, this this talk of Bioware projects going on. So they want to use alien life forms are, as the next step in competitive biological weaponry. So that's, like, a common theme, like, really throughout all these issues is, like, how are we going to use these aliens to use in warfare? Which uh, is a terrible idea. But with terrible ideas comes great massacres of people getting torn apart by aliens and just crazy madness throughout these books. So definitely a, a big fan of it. Uh, what's cool about in this storyline too is uh, Newt, the girl that was rescued from uh, Akron by Hicks and Ripley. She ends up like falling in love with this like synthetic android dude. She doesn't know that he's an android at the time and they like have like, they have sex and like he's really falling for her. They're like talking all this madness and then she finds out that, you know, he's just an android, which is kind of fucked up, man. This poor girl, yo, her family he's murdered by these alien creatures and then she ends up like falling in love with this dude and it turns out he's a goddamn robot so at the end of the uh, six issues there there's like a deadly outbreak and the earth is actually overrun with all these alien creatures so the earth is just fucked at this moment in time and everybody's just out in space trying to manage what the hell they're going to do about all this so after that, when the Earth is overrun, it goes on to this issue here with aliens 1989 and like Hicks and Newt are like captured and they're in this like military base or ship or whatever. And uh, there's this General Spears who is like trying to train these uh, xenomorphs to kind of like be his soldiers. He wants to go back to Earth and he thinks that if he does that, he can like send out all these xenomorphs then they'd be on his side and they'd fuck up all the uh, aliens that have taken over earth which is just fucking absolutely insane so general spears is out of his mind and obviously like none of that shit goes down and there's just mayhem throughout all this so this is a cool storyline here so before we get into like more of the stuff that's going on let me uh, talk about what's collected real quick 
So this omnibus collects Aliens 1988 1 through 6, Aliens 1989 1 through 4, Aliens Earth War 1 through 4, Aliens Genocide 1 through 4, Aliens Hive 1 through 4, Aliens Tribe number 1, Aliens Newt's Tale 1 through 2, Alien 3 1 through 3, and Aliens Space Marines 1 through 12, plus material from Dark Horse Insider 1989 14 through 27, and Dark Horse Presents 1986 number 24. Number 42 through 43, 56, and 5th Anniversary Special. So at the end of uh, Aliens 1989, you get Ripley comes back, and then you get this Earth War storyline here, which Ripley is involved with, with Newt and stuff, which is a, it's a pretty good storyline, man. A lot of these stories are really good. I enjoy the hell out of it. I'm not, like, a huge, huge, like, I don't know a lot about all the Aliens, like, lore and such, but I'm a big fan of the first two movies. I think the third movie was trash, and there's a couple others that, you know, the remakes that they have now are fairly decent, but they're kind of more, like, action-packed movies, but... You get a couple of one shots in here that break up the story as well. One with like people trying to raid this uh, pyramid, and uh, you know, of course, they run into all these aliens and shit and get all fucked up. And then you get this uh, Dark Horse Presents fifth anniversary special there, which has really good artwork. It has no dialogue or anything like that, but it's like these aliens that like to eat the uh, the eggs. Then you get this great storyline here with aliens genocide one through four, and you get like this dude mr grant that uh he like created this like performance enhancing drug kind of thing that's made from like the royal jelly of the eggs called xeno zip and uh basically they're just going out to try and find more of the uh, the royal jelly so he can fund like his company that makes all this shit so he takes like some marines and they go up to this planet and they're gonna get all this jelly but there's like two different kind of alien life forms battling on this planet and uh, a bunch of the Marines get killed. They are, they are wearing like these six suits, the, uh, the, the Z-110 acid neutralizing combat wardrobes. They have like these badass suits on that are supposed to help them in battle with the aliens, but they still be getting fucked up anyway. So as there's an interspecies war for territory on this planet, there's like some sabotage going on as well. So all this shit goes down. It's pretty crazy, man. It's a, it's a good storyline. I, I, this was one of my favorites of the bunch. Uh, Newt's Tale is actually probably my favorite out of this whole uh, omnibus here. Then you get this Tribes here, which I wasn't really a fan of. This is from uh, Stephen Bissett. It kind of reads more like a novel, as you'll see here. So, I mean, there's some artwork pages here, which are, you know, really good artwork for sure. But uh, I just wasn't too much of a fan of that i just rather you know the more like comic style like this then he goes on to newt's tale which newt's tale was like my that is my favorite by far story of this whole omnibus it just goes back to newt's like origin her on her homeworld, the akron when the aliens invade her family getting murdered i love that fucking alien right there man i might have to get that shit tattooed yo i love that fucking picture so damn much but um it's just cool like his her little brother gets murdered man oh yeah definitely uh just a heads up there is definitely some uh a dog getting murdered in this and uh, a small child so just a, just a heads up on that if you're if you're not a fan of uh, children and animals being hurt that definitely happens in this omnibus <laughs> for sure but um this is basically like a, re a retelling in new size of um aliens the movie pretty much like the same exact thing uh you got bishop there the android getting impaled by the alien tail, which is pretty badass, but it kind of just ends just like the Aliens movie. So uh, it's definitely really cool, and I love the artwork throughout it, man. It's spectacular. Then it goes on to uh, the Aliens 3, which is basically an adaptation of the Aliens 3 movie, which I wasn't too crazy about, like Ripley and all these prisoners kind of dealing with the aliens. Uh, I will say I probably like reading this more than I actually like the movie. And then it goes on to these uh, Alien Space Marines mini comics. These were packaged inside the 1992 to 93 Aliens action figures. Uh, they feature like characters and creatures from the toy line and are not in the uh, same continuity as the Aliens comic books. And then you get Alien 3 trading card comic, uh, nine panel stories that are featured on the back of the cards, which is kind of cool. And then it goes into more like the bonus features and stuff in the back of the uh, omnibus here. Some great artwork. You get some afterwards from all the uh, trades. There's the uh, wraparound cover there, which is really beautiful man love that that's a really really awesome artwork um so you get some decent uh extras in the back of the book here which is pretty cool these aliens magazines which i didn't even know they had aliens magazines so uh some of these black and white then you get the uh, standard edition omnibus there uh, i love this book man let me know what you think about it down in the comments and as always thank you for watching when we hit 1,000 subscribers, we are giving away Thor by Walter Simonson, Omnibus, and a Mystery Slab. All you gotta do to get yourself entered in the giveaway is be subscribed to the channel, like and comment on a video where I mentioned this giveaway. When we hit 1,000 subs, I'll use a random comment generator to announce the winner. Good luck.